EMF equation of the transformer. The mutual flux in passing through the magnetic circuit formed by the core links both the primary binding WP and the secondary binding WS. Hence, it must induce the same EMF per ton in each binding. The total induced EMF in each binding must be proportional to the number of tons in each binding that is E1 by E2 must be equal to N1 by N2 where E1 and E2 are the primary and secondary induced EMFs and the N1 and N2 are the number of turns in primary and secondary bindings respectively. We can see that the mutual flux phi varies sinusoidally with time between points A to B and the total change of flux is 2 phi m waivers. This change of flux occurs in a half cycle of time that is t by 2 second where t is the time period or the time required for the wave to complete one cycle. Time t by 2 is equal to 1 by 2 f seconds where f is frequency. The average induced EMF in the primary binding is proportional to the total change of the flux divided by the time. That is, E1 is directly proportional to the minus 2 phi m by t by 2 volts. Now this will equal to E1 is equal minus N1 2 phi m by 1 by 2 f volts. Here N1 represents number of turns in primary winding and minus sign shows that the induced EMF even in primary binding is in a position of flux and hence the applied voltage V1. Now this will becomes E1 is equal minus 4F N1 phi m volts. This expression gives the average value of induced EMF in the primary binding. In AC system, RMS value is more frequently used than the average value. As form factor of sine wave is 1.11. RMS value is equals average value multiplied by the form factor. Therefore, RMS value of induced EMF in the primary winding E1 RMS is equal minus 4.44F and 1.5. Phi m volts. We have seen that the mutual flux phi m is common to both the bindings. In similar way, we can find the RMS value of EMF induced in the secondary binding is E to RMS equal minus 4.44 F and 2 phi m volts. So these are the EMF equations. Another important expression for transformer is the transformation ratio, which is the ratio of the induced voltages in the two bindings and is represented by K. That is, K is equal even upon E2 is equal N1 upon N2 volts.